So hi there, I'm Flashpy212 and today I want to bring you just a quick video of polishing of my Seiko SNZG 15K1. So let's have a look on it. I've been doing it now for about a, for about a 45 minutes. As you can see the sides are pretty, pretty good as well. This rack that I've done it with was completely clear. And as you can see now, it is actually very dirty. This is all that black stuff that actually came out from, from the watch. For polishing purposes, I'm using Mother's Megan Aluminium Polish. Um, I found a lot of recommendations on the internet to use this polish and it's actually working very well. Um, as well with the parts of the guns that I polished before. Pretty much I just uh, get rid of the strap from the watch and the spring bars and I wanted to do it with a Dremel but it's about 60-70 euros and even if I will just, you know, use it for this job that will be quite, you know, a waste of money so what you really need, what I'm using is Megan Polish toothbrush, just to put it on but you can you can use any any kind of, like I have an um, earbuds here and just the pads here for my girlfriend for taking the, the makeup off so nothing major you're gonna spend one euro for this well you have to buy this i and i can't remember how much was it i think my wife about seven or eight euros in slovakia you don't need to be really that careful with it well um i don't think you're gonna scratch you're going to scratch the mineral but what i'm pretty much you doing is just you know take a toothbrush put a little bit on it just like that. I'm just doing it in halves pretty much. And when you got it, just take a cloth and just keep rubbing it. And that's it, just to rub it like this in the circles. Or it's just not, I don't think it really matters. And it will just keep on going. And every time you get rid of that stuff from the watch, just use a toothbrush, like brush it again, and that's it, and just keep on going. I've done the whole watch, so the sides as well. The um, difficult part is to go around the crown, because you can't go that close to it. I just put this just around it and try to not really, you know, screw the crown. The top is very easy to polish, the top of the crown. So you just put your finger there and just keep rubbing it like this. I'll show you the clean part of the, of the of my cloth, if I can find the part that's actually clean, to actually see how much stuff is going on, like this corner here, it's completely clean. And just rub it. As I said, it's gonna take about an hour, but then it depends on what kind of job you expect. You know, if you want a perfection, maybe it can take uh, about two hours or so. There you go, you see how much stuff is coming out of it. So just carry on like this until you actually get the finish you like. Same with the crown, just go around around it as close as you can. For this kind of things, I'm using these bats. Just put some stuff on that. Just go around it like this. Same that I'm using this. There is, you can see, there is a curve here that I actually can't get with a with a with a cloth. So I'm just you know pushing this ear butt on it and just do that on every part, pretty much. And then you can see how much black stuff is on it. And then just go around and around and around. There's nothing major. I started with this watch because it's not very expensive and it's not kind of that I'm not gonna, you know, completely break it or something. I was thinking maybe if I was scratched the mineral glass, I anyway want to change it for a sapphire. This is my first automatic watch and it really is it, I very, very like it, it's very important to me because this watch 
started off for me with the automatic watches and with the quality for that hundred bucks I think it's completely awesome so that's it pretty much there's nothing nothing more to show really there's no kind of I'm, I'm well I'm you I'm doing this for the first time I polished few parts before but that's just, just the parts from the guns you know you uh, disassemble the whole gun and take the parts parts off and just pretty much do the same thing as I'm doing now. I don't think you can you can spoil anything. Just do really these parts um, where where the lag starting. That's the part where it's difficult to do with a um, with a cloth. So just use these earbuds. Or this is really good as you can see these these pads for taking the makeup off that the women is using or some men I think. Just put some stuff on it, put it on the watch, and just go for it. Go, 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 go. And you see how much stuff you need, just to turn it around. Go on another side. On this SNZ G15K1 or J1, doesn't matter or other models of all the other colors and um, the bottom is actually polished so only thing that you have to polish is the sides and this top part as i said i was very a little bit not very a little bit afraid of if there would be any scratches or anything if it will work because if you if you are doing it by hand everybody said oh damn it is so much work but you can just take this Watch TV and you have it in you know in a dinner. one or two hours you have it. So it's not that much. It's actually working pretty well. I'm not sure how the other compounds working if you not not using mothers, but this is the only one that I was using and it's working like a miracle. So that's basically it. I've just put a quick shot of what it looks like after polish and that will be it thank you for watching and subscribe if you like the video thank you very much bye bye